Hello, and welcome to a new tutorial series on how we can create a WhatsApp chatbot. So we're going to create a WhatsApp chatbot that we can use for sending messages, whereby whenever we ask a particular question based on what we designed. So this chatbot is going to reply us, send messages back to us and all. So we're going to use a Python programming language, and we're going to make use of the Flux framework for building this project for building this project and we are also going to use Twilio, which is going to be the what our communication with whatsapp so we're going to create a account on that Twilio, of which i already created so i'm going to give you a walkthrough on how you can create a new account if you want to create a new account on Twilio, just go to the Twilio website Go to the Twilio website and you click on this and then you sign up on the website. So after you sign up on the website, you ensure to register that is you create the accounts that you want to set up for WhatsApp. So you ensure you put in your details and everything. You register your number, register your number on that Twilio. So registering your number on that Twilio, that is how you get started with working with Twilio. We come under this messaging tab that is under this tryout. Then we click on the send mess um, WhatsApp message. That is, you do all your setup and everything. You had your numbers and all you need to use. So after we are done with that, that is, we already registered our number with Twilio. So you ensure to open your WhatsApp web. That is, you make sure that it's available. So yeah, now you can see my WhatsApp, you can see the number here, which is from Twilio. So this shows like a connection has been active that is under the Twilio. So now when you've done all the setup that you needed to be do on Twilio, so we now go back to our VS code that is of which you're going to do all the codings and all. So we're going to go under this. So now I'm going to create a new file. Which is app.py so what i'm going to do now is um let's have it at the back of our mind that we need to um we need to install like three libraries before we can start using twilio flags and any other thing that we need to use so now the first thing that we need to install is um we need to install flags we need to install twilio and we need to use install the request library so these three packages we're going to install them but the first thing I want us to do is to create a virtual environment for our project, whereby we don't have everything mixed up and whole. So after we've created our virtual environment, so we are now going to go next in installing our libraries. Okay, but we install flux, install requests, and we also install Twilio. So we have all our um, libraries installed. Okay. So what, what we're going to do next is we're going to create a Python file for our project, which is app.py. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um put all our libraries that is we're going to call flags we're going to call Twilio, and we're going to call the request so i just copy it which is from flags import flags requests um and Twilio messaging response um sorry you have to ignore the yellow marks is actually from my vs code settings so now what we're going to do next is we're going to write some few lines of code whereby we are going to use the Twilio and we're going to incorporate this inside flux before we start um before we start writing all our re messages response and hold for our chatbots then we create a flux app uh, wherever we have flux define our name here so next thing we do the hub.route in flux 
remember we, we specify the words specify her hand points and the kind of methods that we want to create and that we want to use so our method type that we want to use is post request for our chat box so we've created a hub dot route which is for flags and points so now we're going to create what the function which is for the bots that is where we are wherever we're going to have all our words we're going to have all our messages and everything that is for our bots so i'm going to create an incoming message so this message incoming message i want to create now i'm going to make use of the messaging response that we imported from the twilo from the twilo library so we are going to create a messaging response method here Okay, let's ignore this. We're going to come down to the incoming message response later. First thing we need to do is we need to use the request. Okay. So this request.values.get is actually coming from the flags. Whenever we send any message through our WhatsApp, so this request that values us get is going to get our own messages. So let's just just look look at how it turns out. So this is coming from our own message. That is any message that we send through our bot. We are going to use the messaging response now. So again, we create message is equal to response dot message. So this one that we have here is actually from what? From the Twilo API. So we already used our request library, which is taking our body, that is, which is taking the um, data from anything that we type in through our WhatsApp. So it's going to use the messaging response, which is coming from the Twilo API. So this is going to catch our message. So what we want to do now in this project is we're going to make use of the news API. So we are going to tell our bots that is uh, maybe any news for today, any anything that it contains news. So it's going to return the news. What is going to return the news data from the news API? That is it's going to send every news. From news API. So what we need to do now is we go to the news API. You register your um, with your email address, and then you ensure to get an API key. So let's come back to our project. I have an API key which I'm going to make use of in this project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write. Um, an if else statement with Python, that is, if any of the message that I'm sending through my WhatsApp contains news, that is the news string, it should return the news headline to, to the WhatsApp, that is the bot returns the news headline to my WhatsApp as my WhatsApp response. So let's write our code, if news in our incoming message. So here, so this is coming from the words whereby we define our credentials for the news API. So what we have here is the words. This is from the um, news API, which is the endpoint for their API. That is for to get the headlines news. So here we have the country, and I included the page size. We are going to remove it. I'm going to remove it since we just want to do a simple demo then the api key and you can also add a category to your news but let's go down to our projects so we now use the request to access the api 
practice we are using the get method we're using the get method here so we are going to convert our response to a json file a json string so when we have a response we need to look through the data to ensure like any data is going to get their clean data So now I'm looking through my article. So what we have here is we are looking through um, the result that is coming from the news API that is a response dig that we converted to JSON. So we look through, we have the if s is got to articles and then we're using the response dig that is we take the s that we use here. So now we also look through the this is a list, this response list is coming as a list. So and then there's one thing we need to know here about Twilo API. There's a particular way you need to encode your data that is any data that you want your WhatsApp or any app to return back to you. So here I'm encoding it in a way whereby I use the dictionary format. So you have the title, URL to image, published ads, and other things that I want to be returned. So now, yes, I'm going to create an S for um, the news. That is, if news is not coming from the incoming message from WhatsApp, what exactly should it return for me? So now we're going to move down to what we want this message that's response to return to us. So now we're going to indicate our message body as the news. So now we're going to return what we want this to output for us, which is going to be our response. This is it, the response coming from here. So now we already pass our message body to the API. Um, already pass our message body, um, which is the news. And one thing I also want us to find out about Twilio is using this large bot um, endpoint. This is just to tell us like whenever this um, this endpoint has been called automatically, just like a webhook. So this is going to return your um it is going to whenever it has been called it's going to return this news information for us so now from what we have here we have if news in incoming message that is if anything we type contains news so it should return this to us that is our message dot body news so where if it doesn't find anything it's going to return sorry i couldn't retrieve a news for you okay yeah. So that's what we have here. So what we need to do now is we are going to test our code. And especially, you know, we have to have this that is in the development phase. Possibly it has to be hosted for us to be able to use it under our WhatsApp. So what we are going to make use of in this project is we are going to use NGROC. I'm very sure many of us are familiar with NGROC. NGROC. To use NGROC on Windows, you have to download it. Then after you downloaded it, you ensure to put the exe file under the folder that you are working with. So now I put the, the exe file under my directory. So now after we have it here, so we are going to run our code. Let's run our code. Okay, we can see it is listing under ports 5000. So here I'm going to use NGROC now and I ensure to use the same ports which flag, uh, which flags is running under. 
And also, there's one thing I want us to know. Whenever you're working with Twilo, especially if you're using Hengerog, you ensure to use this forwarding link. You ensure to provide this forwarding link under the message settings, that is under the WhatsApp message settings. For people who are not familiar with this, you come under the settings tab and you look at the WhatsApp sandbox. So what we're going to do now is we're going to copy this link that we have. You're going to paste this link that we copied from the ng rock so you're going to paste it so after we pasted it ensure to add the slash box to it to hit which is to tell you the endpoints you are calling so we save so now we're going to test this under our whatsapp So now you can see the news that returned back to me. You can see the link and all. So this is how we can make use of this. This is how we can make use of this Twilo API and how we can incorporate this with WhatsApp to create a WhatsApp bot. So let's come down to our code. I want us to see some few things. So, and then one thing that we use under the news API was after using the um, API endpoint, we specify the countries of the link, that is of the message. We specify the country of the news that we want to get. After we put, then we put our API key. So, and just like I told you earlier, you can also have a category here, whereby you had a category of the kind of news that you want to get. Possibly you want to get something like a sports news, you can add it under this category and it will return a spot news for you. So I guess now we understand how we can create a WhatsApp chatbot using the Flux framework and making use of the Twilo API. So if there's any um, comments or any questions that you have, you can send it under the comments box. I'm going to reach out to you and answer each of your questions. So this is the end of this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you.